We had some large hail, and we had the, the severe supercell thunderstorms rolling across the area. Our storm chaser, Mike Prendergast, was on that storm that moved through Collin County and produced that monster hail. He also noticed several times lowering of the clouds. That is what you see there as a wall cloud, and that's where, if the conditions were right, we could have had a tornado pop out of that wall cloud, but the conditions were not such tonight that we were dealing with tornadoes, but we have dealt and continue to deal with quite a bit of hail. Take a look at what's going on right now on the radar. We have one severe thunderstorm warning. This takes up northern parts of Collin County and extends on into parts of Hunt County. Let's take a closer look at this storm that is capable of producing quarter to half dollar sized hail right now from the town of Roland over toward Chambliss, uh, just to the west of Frognot and northwest of Fayberg. So this is in the more rural parts of Collin County north and northeast of McKinney. The storm just rolled through Westminster, producing some quarter sized hail. I'll put this into motion and show you that the movement is to the southeast at around 40 miles per hour. So this is about to blow through Collin County once again, mainly moving to the east of McKinney, but it should be moving toward Farmersville and Princeton here over the next several minutes. And that again is a storm that is capable of producing quarter to half dollar sized hail. The severe thunderstorm warning, by the way, is in effect until. Until 1130 tonight. So we still have just under 30 minutes to go with that uh, severe thunderstorm warning. We're also dealing with quite a bit of severe thunder, or not severe, but just good old fashioned thunderstorms here in parts of Denton County, Cook County, and Grayson County here. But this storm is intensifying over the city of Denton. It's not severe, but it is producing some really heavy rain and maybe some small hail, maybe uh, dime sized hail here from Sanger down through the city of Denton and a little bit farther south toward Lake Dallas. So this storm is moving off. To the east, so watch out in Krugerville, Oak Point, Little Elm, the colony. Eventually, that storm will be heading toward you. And as we take a look at the rest of North Texas, there's not much going on in the immediate metroplex and areas back to the south and west, mainly the areas that we're still going to be looking for the possibility of some of these storms briefly getting severe and producing some hail is going to be from the metroplex back to the northeast. Take a look at the severe thunderstorm watch that we have in effect for the area. And you can see until midnight officially, but the National Weather Service, we were just talking to them on our chat system. They are thinking about extending this watch a little bit later, probably replacing this watch with one that would be a little bit farther to the southeast. We'll keep an eye on that. But it's really these areas right along this cold front, which is slowly but surely making its way through the area that we're going to be looking at the best chance of uh, more thunderstorm development over the next couple of hours. Here's the future sky forecast. That front continues to make progress to the south. By 3 in the morning, it's in our southeastern county. And that's where all the storms will be. We have north winds behind this front, and it's going to clear out pretty rapidly overnight. So when you wake up tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., mid 50s, a little cooler. We're also looking at that north wind and sunshine tomorrow to get us only up to 70 degrees. So that is cooler than today. We made it to 83, but 70 is about where we should be for this time of year. And actually, a beautiful start to the week. 54 to 70 tomorrow, 67 on Tuesday, 72 Wednesday. Rangers home opener on Thursday looks great, 74 and breezy. Another cold front and another round of showers and thunderstorms likely by the end of the week, though, especially as we get into Saturday.